All right. So what I'm doing is I'm, I have to build new assets now for this next stage, for this second part of my storyboard, which is that the, the character has plants coming out of its back that start to grow and take up everything. So that's the transformation I want to show. So I have to go back to my creature composite, and I'm going to grab the plant layer. And then there is another one. I think it's in the head. Let's see. Where is the plant that goes on the head? There it is. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's in the combined layer. Lost it a little bit here, but I can make it work. So I'm just going to soften this a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to take just the layers that have the flowers on them. There we go. I'm going to combine those together by holding down Command and then Command E to merge them together. I'm not even going to save this. I'm just going to say Command A to copy it all, Command C, or Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it all. But notice it's floating on empty pixels, right? So when I paste it in, it's going to automatically center the actual pixels. And I go back to my assets, and I want to put them on top of my creature's head reveal and paste it in. Command V. Okay, so now I have to shrink them down, put them onto my creature, like a little crown. Very nice. But it's going to be weird if just it goes from this to this. So now I'm going to work backwards, and this is why I'm going to put it into the plant group. I need to duplicate it and then turn this layer to maybe 20%, uh, maybe 30%, 35%. So I can kind of see its outline. And then I'm going to go underneath it, and I'm going to start shrinking these just a little bit and I think puppet warping them so edit puppet warp anchor them along the spine and then just start tugging them in little by little to show that these plants are growing out from the fur of this creature Now this is just one step off, so I'm not going all the way, right? So it goes from this to this. Okay, now I make it I take this down to about 50%, make a duplicate of it, take the duplicate to 100 percent and puppet warp it. Maybe start by just a small scale shift down and then edit puppet warp. Tag it along the spine. And then start tugging it in. Now because I have in my story about the plants kind of take over everything, I'm going to need more plants than just the ones I designed for my creature. But this is the start. So this is where animation gets... Confusing and ambitious. There's just a lot to it. Okay. Hit return. Turn this one back to 100%. And then I have a cycle of three. So it goes from this to this to this. So now I keep that up. Take this down to 50%. Duplicate. Take the one underneath the duplicate to 100%, transform it, shrink it down, maybe a little bit more aggressively this time, 
because I don't want to waste a ton of time. I want to go pretty fast. Now I'm going to puppet warp it pretty severely, kind of fold it in completely on itself. So it's like it's just coming out of the fur. So getting pretty much to the outline of the fur. Okay, get this up to 100%. So it starts with that, then to this, then to this, then to this. That feels pretty good. Now it's weird to go from zero, so I think I might just transition it in slowly, and I'll show you how I do that with the layer. Because remember, these are just assets. Okay, also, this is my next frame. So I want to play with the head still, just a little bit. Maybe shift the fur a little bit around the head, and then, then get to the head itself. Rotate that a little bit. I'm not changing the jaw, but I'm just rotating the head a little each time. Maybe adjusting its scale a little bit. The body, I'm going to start warping just his body. So it feels like the flowers, something's happening with the flowers. And then when this, let's see, I'm gonna do one more stage of flowers. And this stage, I'm gonna shrink them down and I'm gonna stretch them and rotate them or warp them and fade them out a little bit. So I'm just going to take their opacity down a little. So that's going to be a stage. Right? Now I have to play with the sky and maybe move the sky around a little. So we go from, and I don't need the creature composite layer anymore and I don't need to save those changes. So I go from this the last frame I did, to this. So if I like that, then let's merge it. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it all, Command B to paste it on. Good. Next. Go to my next cycle in my plant group, but first I have to deselect and get rid of that copy. All right. And now play with all the little features. The fur, I'm just rotating it a little bit, making it a little bit more opaque. Around the head, the head itself. Just little tweaks, as long as you know what you're doing. And then the body. Just a little huffing and puffing. And then the sky. And I see, do I like do I like that change? Yep, the flowers are getting more solid. Yes, I like that. So I go up, hold down option, layer, merge visible, command A, command C, command V. Command D to deselect, delete that merge layer, go to the next plants, play with the head, shake it a little, play with its opacity a little, tilt the head a little, warp the body a little. Play with the sky. I mean, there's so many things I can do. I could even use the, the middle ground and like sway this tree a little bit each time. I mean, 
you really have to understand what you want your audience to pay attention to. Notice I'm not moving these guys much at all anymore. I'm worried about my creature. Okay, now I've layered that in. And yeah, it's got me really focused on these plants, but I think I need to start bringing in some other plants. So I'm going to make a new group, and I'm going to call this extra plant group. Because in order to really grow it fast, I can't do one group of, of flowers at a time. So I went to Google. Let's see, where do I have them? And in my digital five folder, there it is, my Simon five folder, I brought in a lot of flower assets off of Pixabay. And I, I only chose ones that have black backgrounds because this was my hope. <laughs> I'm gonna bring in a bunch. Maybe not the really big ones. And drag and drop them in. They're going to go into this extra plant group. I'm just going to hit return and place them all. And they're all smart layers. So I'm going to select them all. Right click. Come on. And rasterize. I can mess with them. And there's a few ways. I could use the magic wand and select all the black and delete it out. Because obviously I don't want those, those big black rectangles in my animation. Or I can play with a, a layer mode. I'll show you what I mean. Let's move these all into the extra plant group. That's another reason to do it as a group, because I can just turn them on and off. But if I set them to a, a different layer mode, like, let's see, soft light maybe, then you'll see that they, they don't, the blacks don't affect it as much, right? All these different flowers. But there's still, let's see if there's something. If I only lighten, there we go. So if I set it to only lighten, then these plants, the black won't really show up. All right, on the whole group. Yeah, that kind of works. All right, so I'm gonna set the whole group just to lighten. And then I'm gonna play with those flowers as we go. So first one, I'm going to stretch the puppet warp, bring it underneath. I'm going to bring this whole group down below my plant group because that's his core spine. Whoops. All right. There we go. So I'm going to set this just to be a low opacity to begin with. So from this, maybe to that. I think I've changed everything else. Oh, I haven't changed the sky yet. So it's always good to check with your, your stage, right? To make sure you've changed all the things you need to change. Good, okay, so now go to the top option, layer, merge visible. I just brought in a lot of new assets that are gonna be useful. Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it all, Command V to paste it on as the next frame. And now we can start moving pretty fast. So next plant group, 100%, that, that gets bigger. Next, I can make this one a little bit stronger in opacity. From 52 to 
77, and I can add on another asset. 